In this video, we're going to focus on how you can adjust the X scale based on the dates here. You can see here we're using what we call max span or a major and minor ticks here, where we highlight our major ticks. But you can see here, this is 12 a.m. and then it will break down automatically. And we can do this also with hours, we can do this with days, and we can do this with anything basically depending on our data. So we're going to focus on this, how we can do this right now. In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers' question, which is how to use day ticks and hour ticks in the x-axis in Chart.js. And this question came from one of my other videos, but I couldn't find it for somehow. It just disappeared. But anyway, this is basically the question that I was able to find in the email. This came from Shubanghi Ing. Also, a special uh, thank you to Shubanghi for asking the question. And this is what Shubanghi asked. Hello, sir. I want the dates on my x-axis mentioned in the chart given in this link and so basically it gives here the link where you can see eventually the ticks having a major tick with the day and also segments of hours so you can see here what he wants eventually eventually wants like for example 30 november and then we have different hour segments here i tried adding the major to enable but nothing happens can you please help and make a video so let me start and look at this all right, so the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to grab here the default code. We're going to chartjs3.com, getting started. Scroll down here, and we're going to copy this chunk of code here. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here that explains the JavaScript of that code. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to paste this in here. And once we did that, I'm going to cut out the title here, put it in there, save this, refresh. All right, so now we have a nice bar chart. And usually with the dates, a line chart is very applicable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this quickly into a line chart. And what I will say here, the border width will be converted into a tension where we have a nice elastic line. And then finally, we're going to just remove all the excess colors. And then same story here, all the excess colors, we don't need all of them. We only have a single color here. Save this, refresh, there we are. So if we're going to work with the date and time structure on the x scale what it will mean is that we need to use the adapter so for that what we're going to do is we go to chartjs.org and go to the ecosystem and then in here you can see this is a link from the github chartjs slash awesome scroll down here select the adapter and we're going to grab here the date fns so you can use one or the other but i would prefer date fns if you only want to grab the link if you want to use the features, I would say Loxon is quite easy to use or easier compared to DateFNS. However, this requires two JavaScript files to be included, while this one only a single file. So if you do nothing with it except for including only the file, I would say go for DateFNS. So we go in here and then we scroll down here and we're going to search for the adapter file, which is basically this file here, charges adapter dash date dash FNS. All right, so once we have this, what I want to do here is I'm going to enter, paste that in there, and you get this entire script here. Make sure it loads after the chart.js library. Why? This here depends on certain variables and uh, settings or objects that are built in the chart.js. So if I save this right now and go back here, refresh, nothing happens yet. And the reason why is we need to activate the plugin, or no more specifically, we need to indicate now that this scale is not anymore a category scale this is a, a cartesian category scale i'm going to convert this now into a date and time scale so in here we're going to put an enter and in the x-axis put a comma here and then here we're going to indicate the following type and this type equals time once we did this we save this refresh now it recognizes it but we have an issue with our data and the reason why we have an issue with our data is because this data here is not matching why well, here we have the labels but these labels mean nothing because they're not converted into a date so what i'm going to do here very simple is to convert this into a date all we're going to say here is new in the space date with capital d and then we put in here the date so let's say now right now we're in december so 2021 oh, make sure that this of course is in quotations same quotation because it is a string value and 2021 12 1 all right so once we did this we have this one done here i can copy this and what i will do here now is to duplicate this 
at least seven more times and then after that we're going to change the dates one by one there we are let's do that one paste paste and finally here paste as well so once we did this and just let's organize them a little bit more so it looks a bit more better and easy to read for you as well so there we are so once we did this one we're done here save that refresh all right so it works but of course number two three four five six and seven save that refresh now we have this here but of course you can see here this is being uh, just designed with the hours which is fine but here's the thing we don't know what is the exact date on this unless we hover over these dots here or the, the point radius here so this doesn't make any sense for us should be more easier to see so what we're going to do now is basically in here put a comma and I'm going to say it ticks and these ticks are basically being auto generated but now we're going to say in major a major might sound complicated but basically it's this the major is officially the ticks based on here that is being generated in the x axis based on the labels we have here so that is the first one so if we do this and we say here enable we set it on true save that refresh now you can see here we get these items here the december uh, four five etc etc but you have also these tiny these are basically what we can call the minor why minor the major is the leading one and then this here is a segment of this which makes sense of course because here all these hours 24 hours makes a day and that's basically here so what i want to do here just add an extra is just to highlight them here and afterwards we're going to convert this in maybe a different structure for example hours only because for a stock chart that would be probably more interesting so let's start and do that right now so first of all what i want to do is just to highlight the major values so i'm going to put a comma here then i'm going to say font and i'm going to focus on highlighting them by making them bolded so we're going to say here font and i'm going to make a callback function with the context and this context will be a callback so we need to use a arrow uh, expression function in other words basically it's like function here then we move this will be exactly the same except these days it's better to do it like this if it's a callback so next what I want to do here is the following. I want to do a console log, and in this console log, we're going to say here, uh, if we do the context, you will see we get some information. So let's save that, refresh, open up the developer tab, and you can see here we get all these objects here, beautiful. And you can see here there's a lot of ticks here, and these ticks are basically this, but probably also ongoing, or there's something behind them more to calculate all these numbers. However, what is important is eventually, if you click on the ticks, you can see here the ticks, as a major it will be equal to false or true so let's search here eventually we have one here and this one would be true and there will be 5 december and 5 december would be here somewhere and probably this one exact that will be the label but this one was 6 pm so that was this one here 4 december it is of course this the value is in milliseconds anyway what we want to do now is just to make sure that these labels are bolded if it's a december and if it's an hour you maintain it as original unbolded font so what we're going to do here is basically this because this is the only thing here that is not possible you would say here console log you might say all right to grab it all we need to do here is basically this we're going to say here uh tick and then here major and if you would move over and say tick dot major with a context tick dot major if you would do this and save that and refresh you get an error and the reason why you get this error is because the first load doesn't work it will be undefined so if i save this and refresh and let's say we go all above here all right in the beginning you see here it shows something but it doesn't load yet after that it starts to do something here so even if i would do this you probably would see it if it takes it will give it like an undefined value but after the second load so for load one and load two these two doesn't work and then it starts to work to do this you see here let's go back undefined undefined and then we get this so this is normal because of the animation here it loads everything you need to calculate and then the animation jumps up and then it starts to work so the first two loads which are basically a millisecond of a of an item just gives can break our code because it just gives an error so what they want to do here of course is just to solve that so how do we solve this here 
or basically we're saying the following okay here contact contacts are tick and we're going to grab the other one here content that takes dot major so if i save this one and do console log here now if i refresh here the first one is undefined undefined and then we grab the value and the reason why is we're going to check basically if these two conditions are true and apparently in beginning it just loads one or the other can i find it and then it will say undefined that's all right and then it can push it through and this is the way how we can do it so that is basically a tiny workaround that we need to use and now what i'm going to say here is a constant and let's say your constant bolded ticks and this bolded ticks equal basically what we did here above i'm going to grab these two so that will be our condition so we're going to make an if statement here and the and the if statement will be basically the ball this is the constant value but say if contact uh, context ticks and context ticks major if we have them here if they are visible in that case we'll say here bold else what we want to do here then is blank basically nothing at all so what i'm going to do here next is the following then we're going to say here return and then we return what exactly we're going to give it a font weight which is a weight setting here and then we're going to say here this was this will be equal to whatever the value would be in there once we did that semicolon save that refresh so once i do this you can see here now we have adjusted the color here beautiful 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 maybe you say hold on i don't want dates I want to work with hours because I have hours and minutes and seconds because you're working with a stock chart or something like that where, you, where every second matters. To do that, it's quite straightforward. It's basically working here. So let's say here, I'm going to convert this. We say here, I just put in a T for the time, zero, zero, and zero, zero, and then probably it will go, go into my local time or it will grab the GM, uh, the Greenwich mean time. So it's one or the other, which is basically the zero time zone zero. One or the other, it doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to focus on, let's focus on these three here. I'm going to say here one again. And I say here, uh, let's make your hours. Let's say this is four hours, and then this one is seven hours, colon zero, 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 meaning this is the hours, minutes, and seconds. So if I save this now, refresh, you can see here what is happening now. It structures the time differently it will be more concise and now you can see here the value is basically here based on the hours that is essential here so this is the major tick and these are just the breakdown of the major tick here and this is a way to play around with if you want to be more concise with hours and minutes so that's basically everything you need to know regarding to this specific segment so if you enjoyed this video maybe you want to even a search or filter dates in this case i would highly recommend you to check out this specific video how to filter dates in a chart where you have two different dates here where you can filter it and of course reset the date so you can play around with that because that might be a fair useful part as well we want to zoom in on a certain segment of your date